Hello, and welcome back for another episode. Uh, this time we're on level three. Uh, and so one of the first things I want to cover in this one is the bot classes. Um, we haven't really looked at them much. We're using all assaults. Uh, there are actually four different types of bots, though. Uh, the assault is kind of the generalist, but favors very aggressive play. There's the shotgun, which is the fastest, but has no long-range combat potential. The machine gun which is the slowest but deals generally the highest damage and has uh, extraordinarily high durability. And then the sniper, which is moderately slow, not as slow as the machine gun, but slower than assaults and shotguns, and does the best long range damage, but the worst in every other environment and has the least health. Uh, we're using all assaults, but we are going to have to take into consideration that because we can see here the enemy has machine guns and snipers along with their assaults. So let's see how this goes. And right away we can see uh, this is the same AI we were using at the end of the last episode. So we are using, we're, we're trying to attack at medium range, we're, we're trying to close in, but you can see some of our bots are getting pinched off on the side here. Uh, other bots of ours were trying to collapse here, but you can see the sniper is trying its best to, to delay us. And we've kind of got ourselves in an unfortunate situation here. It may pan out. It may not. It certainly doesn't look like we're doing too terrible. We did snag the first kill, and if they're not careful, we're going to snag more than that. Second kill went to us as well. That's nice. Uh, you can see his bot went and picked up a health pack. Uh, that is a thing that happens in elimination, but uh, I don't know that we need to concern ourselves with it just yet. Yeah, this, this sort of cluster here generally isn't optimal. Um, and I've been deliberately avoiding talking about these things. These are uh, force fields, and you can capture force fields, but generally speaking, they're very situational, and it's kind of a trap for newer players. So I'm trying to avoid using those. But now we're down three to five. Our bots are all doing pretty poorly. So let's see if we can't improve them. So we were doing pretty good damage, but I think one of the bigger problems we're having is that the enemy is running out of medium range and they're no longer taking damage. So let's look at adding another attack node, again with a not out of range, but we're going to do something a little different, which is attack enemy bots that are not out of range and were attacked by me previously. We don't have to change the sort because you can only attack one bot at a time. But let's see how that changes things. Now what that should do is it'll make our bots a little less aggressive, but it will cause them to continue firing at enemies and hopefully deal more damage to their health because you can see already the, the bot's trying to retreat and it's taking a few hits on its way out. Whereas before the enemy bot would just retreat out of medium range, our bots would pick a different target and the enemy would come back in. And we can see we're already making a lot more sticky damage. Uh, I, I consider shield damage to not be sticky because shields will passively regenerate, whereas health, you have to pick up a health pack, which means the, the damage tends to linger a lot longer. You can see we're already up several kills. That's that's what we want to see. We got his machine gun down. Got another assault down. This machine gun's trying to pick up this health pack, but I suspect it's not going to end well for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's his machine gun. 
And there we go. Uh, at this point, I'm confident in saying that this match is over. And that's going to be a nice, clean 8-0 win. And thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.